Hello, welcome back again. And to this class, we will learn how to create a table in HTML. So, um, tables they are basically used to arrange different data in rows and columns. So we can say that a table it is a combination of rows and then a columns. So in this example, what we have is we have three columns in three rows. So anything that comes from top to bottom, these are uh, columns and then all the things that goes from left to right are the rows. So here we have one, two and three uh, rows and then one, two and three columns. So while creating an actual table, it can have an, any combination of uh, rows and columns. But to start off, uh, uh, first of all, we will try to create a sample table like this. So let's go to our notepad. Okay, so I already have the basic structure of HTML. And then let's try to create it. Uh, create our table inside this uh, body deck. So to create a table, the HTML deck is table. All right. So for now, let's close it. After that, in a table, we have a table header, table row, and then table data. So uh, let's start off with a symbol and then the basic thing. So first thing, what we have to create is table row, tr. TR stands for table row. So once you create a table row, you can have uh, any number of table data which will create your columns. Okay, so in a one row, we have, let's say, table data. After that, let's write cell one, row one. After that, let's close this one okay after that let's close our table row after that let's close our table here so in our example what we have uh, created till now it have one table row and then one table data so table data it will form your table column so let's save this one and then I will save it as table.html okay now after that let's view it inside our browser so here we already have that table row here so out here we have only one row and then a one column so let's go back again after that since we have to add a more row after this one it, it have to go on like this to form a column we have to create a table data like this cell 2 row 1 after let's close our table data okay after that let's close it again let's go back to our browser if we refresh it we will get that one so let's make it smaller like this okay now inside this again let's try to create one more seal here so table data uh, cell three and then it is inside row one so you can uh, add any table data here but for our example we are just giving a demo as a cell one and then cell one row one cell two row one so on so we have three rows again now suppose that let's say that you are done with this uh, table row and then you want to create one more row here so in that case right after this table row we have to create one more table row so when we create a tr it will create one new row here 
and then since we do not have any table data here it will not display anything so in this second row let us try to add some table data so table data let's write cell 4 and then this is in row number 2 slash table data so let's save it let's refresh it so it will have the first table data here again if you want to go on adding more we just have to follow the same process we have to keep on adding the table data so let's uh, row number two table data let's add one more uh, table data seal six and then row two table data okay let's save this one let's see after that suppose again let's say we are done and then if we want to create another row let's close our table row this is the starting deck this is the ending deck for that row let's create one more table row after that inside the table data let's write cell number seven row number three table data and then table data cell number eight row number three table data cell number nine row number three okay after that when we are done let's close our table row and then table is already closed here now let's save this one so out here we have table row one table row two three we have three rows and then in each row we have three columns or three different data here so let's refresh it so we have already created our table but when we look into our uh, example here we have this table is aligned at the center and have all the borders out here but out here it is left aligned we did not have any borders out here and then we did not specify the size of our table also see it is left aligned but out here in our example what i have shown at uh, uh, at the starting it is center aligned it have um, border and then it have a specific table size so right now what we are going to do is let's try to add a table border after that uh, we will try to resize it resize this table and then let us try to keep out here in in the center of our browser so to uh, customize all these things what we have to do is we have to create the table size alignments and then border all these things inside this table deck so uh, let's go inside here after that from here first thing what we have to give is let's give a border it does not have any sequence okay so uh, border is equal to let's give three pixel you can have any number of pixel or else if you just leave it border it will have um let's say it will have a one pixel after that if you want to increase it let's give three pixel it will have three pixel and so on so you uh, the size or uh, of the border you can specify the size so now we already have our border like in our example now let us increase the size of our table and then keep it at the center of our browser so to increase the size of our table we have to specify the width width is equal to let us give 70 percent okay so let's save it if we refresh it our table will become bigger now after that let's give it a line as a center so after that let's give a line is equal to center so this table will be displayed at the center of our browser so when we refresh it 
the table will be inside our center with a 70% width now if you want to increase the height of the table we just have to specify them height so height is equal to let's give um 400 pixel let's try so it, it the height of the table will increase so if it's too big here so let's give 200 so that's how we can create a sample table now if you want to increase or decrease the width of each of the cells we just have to go inside our table deck so like if you want to increase the width of this um, table data width is equal to let's try 30 pixel so and that first row will have um, first co column will have a 30 pixel so you can uh, customize all of the this um, width as desired so this is how we can uh, create a sample table in html so we will learn more to create a, this type of uh, tables and our next classes so thank you so much see you in the next tutorial